Thank you, thank you. Arigato, arigato, arigato. Isa mas, isa mas, isa mas. Hey, what's up, guys? David Hoffman here from David's. Been here in beautiful Atami, Shizuoka Prefecture, Japan. This town is a resort town, about 40 minutes drive south from Tokyo, and they're famous for a few things. So they're famous for salted fish, but they're also famous for having cherry blossoms in January. Yes, cherry blossoms in January. It's one of the only places you can see at this time of year. Cherry blossoms usually bloom in March and April here in Japan, but this city is a little hotter, so it actually blooms now. We're gonna go see that right now, and then after that, we're gonna go have some French food in Japan. I'm very excited about that. We're gonna explore the Atami Ginza, which is like the shopping district. There, there's shops, there's craft breweries, there's a lot of different things there. So, you guys ready? Let's go explore Atami. This feels more like a beach town in Europe, as you can see. Lots of cool buildings. Got some palm trees over here, and we're walking through like a garden, as you can see right here. Lots of different plants. The sun's come out. I'm like starting to get really hot. I'm gonna take off my sweater. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure the fish here is outstanding. The water is literally right there. Everything's in Japanese. But I'm guessing these are like hotels. Maybe some residential buildings here as well. Lots of commercial on the ground levels. Yes, the Atami is known for the hot springs, the town. And now we are heading for the cherry blossom. This cherry blossom is called the Atami cherry blossom. And it starts blooming starting from middle of the January. So now it's the best time to see, so let's take a look. Okay, so the Atami is also famous for the dried fish. So you have a mackerel, that's the way how they dry the fish. So if you dry the fish, the taste is more intense. So you have a much more rich flavor. Oh, wow. And there you have it. If you're in Tokyo in January, come down to Atami. It's a short drive and check out the cherry blossoms. Wow. There's around 30 or 40 cherry blossom trees right here along the river. And we can actually go down. Wow, we can just go down here and see them from the bottom. Definitely gotta be careful because it's a little slippery. Oh, let me, let me go through here. Oh man, it's amazing. Oh my God, this is super slippery. <laughs> really cool. I actually think it's better to see them from above. From right here. I mean, it's nice, but it's not the same thing. Being really up, up close to them is a lot better. Okay, so now we are in the Atami and you see the main cherry blossom. And on this river, there's about 60 cherry blossom starting bloom from the middle of the January until the middle of the February. So if you happen to be here, please join us. Yeah, so if you happen to be in Tokyo, short drive. This is gorgeous. As you can see, this tree is huge. This is after the second, so the second street in. Uh, oh wow, so pretty. So because Atami is a climate is quite warm, so that's why it's actually it's the first cherry blossom you see the year. Like it's starting from here. Uh -huh. That's the reason why cherry blossoms bloom in January here, just because it's so warm. Obviously, we're next to the sea. It's not cold at all. I'm like I'm sweating with the sweater, and wow, look here's a way better view. <gasps> Oh, this is the shot right here. If you're thinking about coming to Japan and you want to come to see the cherry blossoms, I highly recommend coming in January and coming here to the Tami. The problem with coming in March and April is that, yeah, you'll be able to see cherry blossoms everywhere in Japan, but the biggest issue is that it's going to be super, super expensive. That's when everybody wants to come to Japan. That's when the hotels are completely booked. So, yeah, I mean, if you are in Japan in January, come out to the Tami. It's really quick from Tokyo. And I mean, look at this, this is stunning. This is like incredible. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> Hi, David. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I love cherry blossoms. They are very peaceful and they're so timid. You know, they come around so infrequently. So it's nice to be able to come here whenever they're in full bloom. This is something I love about Japan, is that there's 2.4 million liquid vending machines throughout the country. Right here there was two of them, and I haven't had my coffee for the day, so I'm having coffee. Mmm, black espresso. This is amazing. And it cost me $1.40, so $1.40. The only problem is whenever you have trash in Japan, it's so hard to find a trash can. 
yeah. it's like impossible. So the best thing to do is drink the coffee next to the vending machine because there was a trash can there. <laughs> and now we're off to lunch. We're gonna have French food. Yeah? So here's the restaurant. Wow. Yeah, it looks good. Tomato soup, French style here in Japan. Ooh, what is that? Nice bread on top. Oh, it looks too hot. What? I have to wait. <laughs> it's too hot, it's too hot. <laughs> Yummy. And as you saw, this restaurant's very cozy, very small. I think six table restaurant. First time trying French food in Japan. I love French food. It's been a while. Oh, nice. A little bit of time in case you need it. Mm. Like it's a, it's a mm. buffer. Nice thick tomato soup. Mm, it's fantastic. Just in case, yeah. Mm. Still really hot. It almost tastes like an onion soup as well. Look at that. Mm. I mean, like. Places like the bamboo forest. Still too hot. Our main course is sea bass. I think you got beef, right? You got beef? Mm -hmm. I got beef and there's really good root vegetables. They all seem really lovely. Yeah, a lot of vegetables here. Got some potatoes, got a nice creamy sauce. Mm. Yeah, and I got the, so I some rice as well. Mm. A grilled sea bass that has, has some batter on it. Mm. It's amazing. I have food envy. Your food envy. I should have, I should have thought should have got this one. <laughs> We're right next to a waterfront. I should have gotten the fish. Oh, I love the batter they use on this. It's, tasty. it's, it's super tasty. Food was delicious, but I have limited time, so I want to show you the area. Right here we have the Atami Ginza, Ginza being shopping district. And I'm going to do something a little illegal because I need to come over here and show you this. Right here we have a hot spring. Here we have a shop that has dried fish. We have a lot of different things. I mean, so many different fish. You got like sardines, you have wasabi, you have seaweed. Hello again. Everything looks amazing. You got shrimp, squid. Nothing to try? I can't try anything? No? No? No, there's nothing to try? Oh, it's unfortunate. See, the problem here is that everything is to take home and cook. But so many good things. Lots of fish, seafood. Seafood, seafood, and right here we have a little table area for seating. And yeah, let's go to the Ginza. Luckily, it's not as cold as the other places I've been in Japan. Everywhere else has been really, really frigid. I mean, I think the coldest place I've been was Osaka, maybe Kyoto. I mean, Kyoto was like 20 something Fahrenheit every day. And right here we have Atami Ginza. This is a shopping district. As you can see, it's a long street, lots of restaurants, shops. We have souvenir shops, we have a lot of salted fish, and we also have some craft beer right here. Let's go see if we can try a craft beer. This shop right here sells dried fish right at the door, as you can see. All the dried fish right here. They also have a lot of other things. You got shrimp, you have scallops, you have oysters. I mean, so many things. Fish cakes, wow, this looks incredible. Yummy, yummy. Everything looks so good. Can I try anything? Anything to try? Or everything Ziploc? That's the only problem here, is that you have to buy stuff and take it home to cook. But I mean, look how many things they got. They have never any amount of things. Mmm, they got some eel. Wow, that looks so good. What else do they got? Well, they have like a mini barracuda right here. I don't know, maybe I should buy something. Eat it later? Maybe? Incredible amount of seafood here. I mean, obviously we're by the water, so lots of seafood. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post up right here. I'm gonna get myself a craft beer. Yes, craft beer, great. What do you have? Pale ale, pilsen, red ale. Can I try this one, pale ale? Perfect, one pale ale. I'm trying this craft beer from Atami Dramatic and it's a pale ale. Mm. Oh, it's really good, really good. Fantastic actually. And something really cool about Japan is that you can actually have an open container out on the street. So I can drink this and just walk around the city. So they're telling me that this place is actually called Maruya. So guest house of Maria. So it's actually a hostel and this is the terrace area. So they have craft beer and they also have food. So you have food as well? Um, no. Mackerel sandwich is the best. Mackerel sandwich is the best? Yeah. Come and eat mackerel sandwich. <laughs> Yay! Yay! 
Thank you, thank you. Arigato, arigato, arigato. Isa mas, isa mas, isa mas. Wow, this street is awesome. Those people at that hotel, the guest house Maruya, which is guest house of Maria. Really nice people. Great beer. They also have amazing food. It looks like they have amazing food. So if you're gonna come by here, definitely stay there. I mean, it's on the strip to be. A lot of dry fish, like incredible amounts of dry fish. They have everything. Like literally any type of seafood you want, they got it. And I mean, such a beautiful place. I like that it's a little cold right now. Probably be really epic during summer. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was awesome. Cherry blossoms in January. This is probably one of the only places in the country, in Japan, where you can see them. So definitely come to Japan in winter and come here to Atami and see the cherry blossoms. The French food was freaking amazing. You know, I was a little skeptical because, you know, I personally only want to eat Japanese food when I'm in Japan, but it was really good. And then going to Atami Ginza was just like awesome. I mean, thank God that I made time to go over there and see it. Got, saw a lot of fried fish, tried an amazing beer, amazing craft beer from there. These are the places I love, places that are undiscovered. And now you guys know about Atami. So next time you travel to Japan, come to Atami, only a 40 minute drive from Tokyo. And if you love this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you on the next travel food adventure in Japan. Peace.